Hi, I'm Jeff Watts and welcome to the second course in my Lessons for Agile Leaders series. There's a good chance that you've already completed my first Lessons for Agile Leaders course where we looked at leading your people through change while navigating your organisation's journey to greater agility and resilience. If that's the case, then welcome back. But if you're starting here and this is your first Lessons for Leaders course, then welcome. This course focuses on what you can expect to come across when nurturing an alternative culture within your organisation. Creating a more agile, resilient and autonomous culture is going to require some significant changes to policy, processes and behaviours. And these will all need to be led and role modelled by yourself and the other leaders within the organisation. In my first Lessons for Leaders course, I talked about how leadership is now no longer something reserved just for those at the top of the organisational hierarchy, but rather a capability that's spread throughout the whole organisation. And because of this, you'll need to trust more people to a greater degree and grow your delegation. You'll need to open up a lot of the workings and thinking that's going on in the organisation so that people can become more autonomous. You'll need to facilitate a culture that embraces feedback, healthy conflict and difficult conversations. You'll need to become a more active politician and also ensure that we maintain momentum over a long period of time because this is no quick fix changing an organisation's culture. You'll also need to treat everyone differently in order to treat them the same and unfortunately you will need to get comfortable with losing some people along the way. The good news is that this course will cover all of these topics and some more on managing yourself, a crucial aspect to being an effective leader in this VUCA world we find ourselves in. The good news is, just like with my first Lessons for Agile Leaders course, this course is full of practical tips that you can use straight away as well as worksheet exercises that will encourage you to put the theory into action immediately in your context. I'll also be giving you some more leadership affirmations to repeat and I'll be prompting you to continue your leadership journal. Thanks for selecting me as your guide on your continued journey towards agile leadership. It's going to be an exciting and interesting ride. So let's get going.